Hello. Today I want to talk to you about democracy. Not democracy in Germany, but democracy in the US. Because what I see there, I think it looks like the last days of democracy. And I would like to talk about that right after this. When I look into the US, I feel we are seeing the last days of a democracy. Why I'm thinking that. I mean, the democracy in the US is not in a good situation anyway. If you see the differentiation between popular vote and the result that ended with uh, having a president like Donald Trump, then you see there is something off. Then you have this gerrymandering, then you have voter suppression. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. But still, people in the US are proud about their system, they like it. Well, if they think this is democracy, democrat democracy it is. But now we have this president, Donald Trump, and he sees himself losing because he did big mistakes. Mismanagement, actually. It's a failure in management of the pandemic. It's a failure in management um, how to save lives. So he's losing popularity. He wasn't that popular anyway, but he knows he will lose the election at uh, the 3rd of November. But if he can manage to make this election a joke, he might stay in power. So what is he going to do? At the moment he's massively talking about how this election will be rigged because of this mail-in voting. So, all people say, no, it's no problem, mail-in voting will work fine. That's the reason why he sabotaged the US Postal Service. It took a lot of money away and he put in, uh, not a manager, but a mismanager at the top of the service. So, at the moment, people experience massive delays with their packages and um, letters and all that stuff. It's just not getting there in time. But when millions of people mail in their votes, this service will be really, really stretched. And there are many of those letters with the votes will come late. And that gives Donald Trump the possibility to again stress this election was rigged and he wants to declare all those mail-in votes for invalid. And uh, since uh, the voter suppression in the US helps to make it very difficult for people that would vote for Democrats to, to um, give their votes at a voting booth, 
because they have to wait for hours. <laughs> for hours. I mean, look, I'm from Germany. When I go for the Bundestagswahl and uh, vote there, it's a matter of five minutes. I get there, then I wait one to two minutes until I uh, get to a person that is sitting at a, uh, a table and uh, this person asks, what's your name? And uh, then I give my name. And after that, I get my voting sheet. I go in the cabin, I vote and I give it back uh, in this urn. And then I'm out. Five minutes. Most US citizens can be happy if, we, if voting takes only five hours. But you know, those districts where, or counties or whatever, where a lot of Republicans give their votes, they have a lot of those booths, voting booths there, voting machines, and um, they don't have to stand in line. So. This alone shows you how, how difficult it will be to vote this would-be um, dictator out of office. So, and then these countless lies. For example, the corona crisis. So, a few months ago, he joked that there wouldn't be that much corona cases if there weren't so many tests. And people said, yeah, he can't do that. He can't, you know, reduce the test just to have less positive cases. Yeah, he's just doing that. In the last months, they did 800,000 tests per day and now they are doing 700,000 tests per day. And of course, um, the curve is going into a plateau now, even though the infected people still surge, but the numbers won't reflect that. This is um, creative bookkeeping that you might know from the mob, but not by a president of the United States of America. So this election will most probably lead to a moment where either Donald Trump wins by the skin of his teeth and all the frustrated people that want to vote and didn't get to vote or whose votes didn't get counted they will just um, go nuclear. In America you get your weapons and you can yeah you will have a civil war or, which is also a possibility, Donald Trump loses, but he doesn't want to leave his office in the White House. And his supporters are those that already have the guns at home. They just march and uh, you have your civil war again. I'm not sure if this happens or if it doesn't happen but anyway um, with a US Postal Service out of commission with um, no health insurance with no chance to to beat the coronavirus the democracy in the US is literally at its end at, after this election, no matter what happens. I just wanted to share with you my uh, worries, my concerns, 
about the US. See you tomorrow.